Sure, so the Linker MM1 study looked at two different doses of linvaceltamab. Uh, Linvo is formerly known as Regeneron 5458. So we looked at two dosing schedules, uh, 50 milligram and 200 milligram. Essentially, everyone gets weekly dosing for the first 14 weeks. Then they switch to every other week dosing. And if you're at the 200 milligram dose, when you get to week 24, if you've achieved a VGPR or better, we can actually switch to monthly dosing. And what we've seen is for that 200 milligram dosing cohort, an overall response rate of 71%, which is unbelievable. And it's even amazing that we can actually dose these patients every four weeks, makes it better for the patient. The other really exciting thing about the Linker MM1 data is the CRS rate. So if you look across assets, many of the bispecifics, especially the BCMA-based bispecifics, have CRS rates in the kind of 70 plus percent rate. If we look at the Linker MM1 data, our current uh, all-grade CRS at the 200 milligram dosing is around 45%. Um, yes, we see the same type of infectious uh, ramifications as the other bi-specifics. Most notably, there have been a couple cases of PJP, but only in patients who have not received prophylaxis. So if you prophylax for PJP, we don't see it. So high response rates, durable response rates, built-in data for monthly dosing, and a very manageable AE profile, including some of the lowest rates uh, out of the asset class uh, for CRS.